Everyone, I'm Josh, and I've been here before on our art team team. And we created the Wendy Technolix in the Gate of Hell as a game concept showcase uh, for those that have played it. Um, next slide for me. It's a story about Wendy who say, has to go on a journey after she finds out her cat is missing. Turns out her cat is the key to the gates of hell, so she has to go and save it before hell no breaks loose. It's a cross-genre RPG platformer uh, where you're able to build relationships with different characters throughout the game, you can have branching dialogue, and you'll be able to, through those relationships, you'll unlock certain mechanics and items which will allow you to interact with enemies and gameplay in different ways. And some of those are mutually exclusive to allow replayability. Um, we have an art focused team, as I mentioned, and all the assets uh, for art and sound and writing are built by Ashley themselves. Uh, we have a double market. In terms of our market and potential, we have a double market for platforms and RPGs with a focus on retro and casual gamers um, and unlockable completionist achievements. There's definitely opportunities there that have been proven by the success of Undertale and Celeste, who are both specialized, one in the RPG genre and one in the, um, one in the platformers, but we're bringing them together. And there's certainly lots of cats and young magic around in the market that are huge. <laughs> uh, as for merchandise, who doesn't love cats, plushies, shirts, everything? Pookie, our pet cat, who's the key to the gates of hell, definitely can be a plushie or a shirt. Uh, modules and expansions in the future, definitely unlockable characters uh, as expansions who will then introduce replayability to the main story when they introduce new mechanics to the character, as well as further uh, modules. And there's lots of potential for adventures with Pookie the Cat in the different planes of hell or different characters will appear. Um, and we would like to reverse the role and have a cat, Pookie, who saves her pet human. Uh, we have four female developers full time. This is our uh, proposed price for the game over two years with a, a unit price here, just technical details for you. So you just break even and then further potential for more episodes once we build all those main assets and characters and mechanics. And thank you very much. I have just noticed that we didn't give feedback to Bruno. And do you guys want to do feedbacks as they finish or do you guys what do you guys think?